I'm just so glad to be here. Um, in 2016, I came to the end of a three-year sabbatical, and I had a major decision to make. I had been the CEO of a Silicon Valley company. I was a 25-year executive in the technology space. I was a serial CEO or CISO, Chief Information Security Officer, for companies like Microsoft, AT&T Wireless, and Russell Investments. I was also a strategic intervention coach with over 2,000 clinical hours working with people in things like crisis management, trauma, moral distress, and grief. Kind of like working in tech. <laughs> <laughs> so I love both those parts of me, and I didn't want to have to make a choice. I was trying to figure out how to integrate two very different things. And the skeptic in my head was like, yeah, good luck trying to figure that out. So as things go, at the same time, the AAUW, the Association for uh, University Women, came out with a report. It was called Why So Few. Why So Few was highlighting the fact that we had made marginal gains in STEM fields for women across the board. And we had made gains everywhere, even engineering, except in one area, computing. <coughs> what the report showed that in 1988, 34% of the computing workforce was made up of women. By 2016, that number had dropped to 23%. And as of 2018, that number has dropped to 16%. <coughs> I was shocked. And then I got curious, and I also got a little mad. <laughs> because this felt very personal. My own personal story, we don't have time to get into the whole thing here, but I went from being a mom of toddlers, very, very broke, to being a Silicon Valley CEO because of computing. It changed the trajectory of my family's future. It changes the trajectory of so many people's future, especially women. And because women think differently, we are strategic, we have perspective, and we innovate differently, women have the opportunity in computing, especially these days, to change the trajectory of life on this planet. So there I was. I was angry. I was angry because what this report told me was that women were still dealing with the same kind of cultural nonsense that I had dealt with throughout my entire career. So there I was, career technology executive and strategic intervention coach, and I found my answer. And it was at that time that Mojo Maker for Women in Tech was born. We created Mojo Maker for Women in Tech with the purpose of helping women who are mid-career stay in technology, thrive in technology, and reach their peak in the, ch in the chosen path that they have picked for themselves. The women who work with us are telling us that this is making a big difference for them in a very short period of time. We have an intensive and a lot of coaching, so it's a very high supportive environment with a lot of community. And um, it's, it's uh, we want, we know that women who are comfortable in their personal power, they have a clear, they have clarity about the path and where they want to go, and they have that uh, mojo maker secret special power sauce, um, they're unstoppable. So in the next one minute, I'm going to just take a second to let you know a little bit about this because you can apply this in your own career. Mojo maker is based on something called the six human needs. It was developed over many years of experience and research by Tony Robbins and Chloe Madonis, and basically it is founded on this principle. Every single human being on this planet has six human needs, just six. You have the need for certainty and security. You have the need for variety. You have a need for significance, for love and connection, you have a need for growth, because if you don't grow, you die. And you have a need to make a contribution. 
So in the context of Mojo Maker, those six human needs, they are the thing that drives every decision you make, every relationship you have, how you live your life. If they're based, they are, they're derived or they're formed from the basis of your human experience and from your values and your belief system. And for many of us, having that kind of six human needs, how that manifests for you, really works well in your life and everything's going perfectly. And for some of us, maybe the majority of us, it doesn't work so well. And what we've learned is it's changeable. And so in Mojo Maker, what we give everyone is the coaching and the support necessary to look at this whole context and find those bag of tools that will help them make any adjustments that they need to make in order to reach their peak in their career and their relationships and have the life they want. So one of the things we brought tonight was we, we wanted to make an offer here is for women of Denver. If you have one of these cards, you're out on our table. We have uh, lots of them. You can fill one of these out. And if you um, are one of the first 24 people to turn it into us tonight, then what we'll do is we'll, you'll get a free coaching session. There's a QR code if you're handy with your iPhone and a QR reader, you can set that up and get a coaching session that you will get your one, two, three roadmap, which is the basis of, of Mojo Maker for your career. Um, women are opting out of tech in mid-career right now. Um, and it's happening at a time in history when technology has the influence and the opportunity to heal the planet. We want women to stay in tech because it's good for the planet, it's good for communities, it's good for families, it's imperative for our daughters, and it's good for you. So, I hope you'll join us. The first step is a small one. It starts with you. Let's go.